All right, everybody, as you can see, I went back and I glopped some more paints because some of it's not even dry yet. But I thought even if it's not dry, I'd just start another video. Um, Greg is left for work. Yay! And I've got about an hour before Scott comes home. So I'm going to take some black paint. I think I'm just going to squeeze it out, out here onto my drop paper. And I'm just going to use the black paint to kind of give a loose feel to the outer edge of each of the butterflies. You know, it'll be the line I kind of cut around. Just give me a puddle to play in here. And I've got a really, quite a fine tipped little brush here because I want to be making fine lines. Made a lot of sense, didn't it? I'm not going to worry about adding the body back in just yet. But like that'll be the head. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing. Doesn't matter if I set that in that green paint. So if we have the body comes down a little in here, I'm just gonna kind of form a head for my butterfly. And then I'm just gonna bring some wings up. Maybe have this just to, I don't know. We'll see how these turn out. How about that? Not trying to be perfect at this. I can always add more paint. Just kind of give them a butterfly direction. I really like this one because it's pretty much a nice looking butterfly already. So I'll just come in here and with this brush. I wish they'd all kind of, you know, formed like this, you know, on their own. So we'll see what we what we come up with in the long run. I don't know. They might look crazy. Let's see. I think I kind of came down too far on that first one I did. But it's all about playing, right? You don't have to be too uptight about it. We're just playing. And this is just to give me a... That one looks more like a moth than it does a butterfly, but it's all right. I'm just getting the general direction of it for now. This one's just going to be hard to see because it's got such a strong black in the middle. Oh, somebody just got something delivered from Lowe's. I don't even know where I was. There we go. We had a, a very hefty storm move through earlier. About the time Greg needed to leave, so. You know, the whole mama, drive safe, be careful, blah, 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 came out. This, this poor butterfly looks like he's been in a in the in a war with some birds. Big old chunks missing from his wings, and I don't know. It's just a general shape. Don't hold me to it. If I don't like the shape, I'll add more paint. Just add more paint. Getting all wonky here now, aren't I? It'll be all right in the long run. This guy is still a grumbling out there. I'm not complaining though. We need it bad. Let's just see what it looks like if I 
dark in the center of one. I just want to see what it looks like. I don't know. We'll see. Will they look like butterflies when I'm done? Or just a hot mess? I don't know. Yeah, that one's a little wet in the middle. I'm beginning to think I needed to like pull out a punch or something that has a butterfly shape to it because these kind of just don't look too hot. having trouble just letting it flow and do what it wants to. They're kind of butterfly shaped, maybe. What do you think? Am I doing it close at all? And everybody's going, not really. You, you're just not doing it too good this time. Oh, well. We all have flubs. And I'm just trying an experiment here. I just don't know. We'll see. My confidence in this is wearing. Can you tell? I just don't know this is going to look decent at all. That's the good thing about paint. It doesn't cost a whole lot of money. If you don't like what you're doing, you can just paint over it and do again. All right, is that all of them? No, it's not. I've got a couple over here. Almost looks more like a flower than it does a butterfly, but we'll go with whatever we end up with here. Let's see. I'm still really disappointed. Didn't get to pet any kitty cats today. Drove all the way over there for nothing. I pet a really, I don't know. I think he was a, a pit bull. The poor thing, it's just so pitiful. He just had the ugliest face ever. But it was the cute ugly, you know what I'm saying? Do you, you know what I mean? <laughs> when their face is just 
so darn ugly. You're just like, oh, he's so stinking cute. He would have come home with me. He was licking my hands and everything, but I don't need another dog. I don't need the two I've got. I'm just not a dog person. Well, maybe with this, with his body added into the middle, it'll look better. Let's see. We'll add the center back to his. Come down the middle. Almost need a little bit bigger brush for this part. All right, I'm gonna run and get a little bit bigger brush. I'll be right back. Don't leave without me. Everybody's getting busy in the neighborhood and driving around. All right, maybe a little better. We add some more lines and stuff to it in a little bit. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll help too. I don't know. Maybe a little better. Might have to get some more black paint out. I wish it would rain a lot more. My front yard is just like walking on bales of straw it's bad and my hydrangea bush has died it might come back from the roots it has in the past but it's just really dry i just i can't afford to buy the water to water the yard if i was had a well i would go ahead and water but I just wasn't raised to water something that I wasn't going to consume. So the only thing that ever got water on the farm where I grew up was the vegetable garden, you know. That was it. We didn't water the grass. My grandmother would have considered it an absolute sin to waste water on something you weren't going to eat. That will cut some of that off later. All right, I did that one and that one. This one I might go back in and add some blue paint back to it because I covered up a lot of it and I really like that blue. But I want to get the, what do they call the, the body of an insect? I can't remember what it's called now. I can't remember what it's called.
and I did get everybody's package out for the most part um, so I did that yesterday so either tomorrow or Saturday most everybody that want a paper pad or two paper pads will get them in the mail except you gals up um, the, the gals in Canada that I was sending packages to you know what I didn't put the um, I didn't go around the outer edge on this one either. But the gals up in Canada, it always takes, a, you know, 7 to 10 days. And it doesn't matter how I send it, 7 to 10 days. You know what? It might have been easier to do the outside edge. With the center part in. We'll see. See how they turn out. I was thinking about doing a challenge. If, but it seems like there's a lot of challenges out. I'm trying to think of something that's unique and different. I can hear sirens out on the interstate. People need to slow down. It's been raining. All that oil will be sitting on the surface of it. Again, oh. and the people behind me, I actually have two neighbors right directly behind me, and the one is getting a new roof, so that has affected my nap time. I need to quit messing with that one before I turn it into complete mud. body back on this one. Scott and I slipped off to Zesto's last night. He got a hot fudge sundae and I got a um just a medium cone because they don't do large at Zesto's anymore. I can go over to Rosewood Dairy and get a, a large. I just didn't want that much ice cream, and that's across town. I am going to need to make a trip over there, though, because we're getting low on coffee. We buy our coffee at World Market. I just love their coffee and their coffee program. Been kind of worried. The last few times we've gone for coffee, though, um... There hasn't been a very big selection. It's like they're not going to carry coffee anymore or something. I don't know what that's about. I would be very sad without my coffee program. And that one I've already done. Did I do them all now? I think so. So, I don't know what to do next. Hmm. Got all this black paint I squished out. Hmm. I don't know. We'll just spread it out so that it gets used. Well, Scott is going to be gone, and Greg will be working tomorrow night, so I might do a late night crafting session if I can keep my eyes open because you know I go to bed about seven or eight normally I'm not a night owl but I could meet everybody back up at like 3 a.m. with no problem because I get up at automatically at 2 45 every day hmm but that would be a good time I could do the, a tutorial on um making the pajama bottoms. I might clean this table off so we can do that tomorrow night. And um, yeah, I think we'll do that tomorrow night, make pajama bottoms. I can bring my sewing machine out here. I might even uh, bring my really old machine. I call her Faye because that's what um, somebody put their name in it. And I, I bet it was the girl that owned it. Her name was Faye, F-A-Y-E. So that's what the sewing machine is now called. And I gave it to my mom. She knows a lady that, not a lady, a gentleman 
that can refurb them and um you know do maintenance on the machines and stuff and he only charges like sixteen dollars or something and this guy here in town he charges you a lot more and he keeps it for months and he's backlogged and he's got too much business and so i found that my mom found that guy up there and i just took the machine and told her can you take it to him and she said sure and he said mainly what was messed up was the um the timing was messed up on it but he's fixed it so we might pull old Faye out and, and use her to um sew these pajamas so I can see how good she works. And I'll talk at y'all tomorrow. I hope I haven't bored you to death with these butterflies. Um, they're getting kind of sketchy, some of them. But we'll add some more color. I think that'll be our my next step is adding more color back in and maybe, you know, outlining around it or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.